Let's take a look at the race highlights. Jason Bridmore, this is how this one unfolded. Yep, at the original start here. See, Raj gets off to a good start. Cameron's just to his uh, right behind him, just to the right of Tony Elias, and Cameron just kind of just got almost got at the back. It looked like to Raj. I'm sure if you talk to Cameron, he'd tell you the same. And he kind of got shuffled back very, very early at the start of the race. Meanwhile, Raj was out front putting in some very, very fast laps. We saw Matthew Skultz early jump over that curbing on the first lap of the first start. And then as Tony got into second, Cameron started moving his way forward. Tony stayed in second. Cameron started moving his way forward with Josh Hayes running a pretty solid third. Jake Gagne was also trying to latch onto the back of that group, see the bike get a little bit sideways there. And then all of a sudden, the Yamaha boys started to find a great place to pass on the exit of turn 14 into the fastest section of the track, that fast left-hand kink. Cameron slid underneath Tony, and then the next lap, you see his teammate Josh Hayes do the exact same thing as they go underneath Tony Elias in that fast kink. Tony complaining later on just about not quite having the, the feel or the setup that he thought he had. Thought he made some improvements this morning, but he just didn't have it in the race. Maybe bad tire, but then... We all held our breaths after this one, Greg. Seeing Hayden Gillum go down like this was just no fun for anybody. Seeing him hit, hit that tire wall. The bike was sent over. We had a red flag. We had a restart. We were all kind of thinking, all right, what's going to happen? Well, Tony got a great start from the second row to put himself up alongside Cameron Bobby as they head down into turn one. It was very similar to the first start. Cameron didn't just have a clean first one like we thought he'd turn one like we thought he did. But he was quick to get to the front or quick, trying quickly to get to the front. Made a mistake as they exited turn 12 up over the top, we think. He injured himself somehow, but all the race long from that point on, it was these three guys uh, coming across the line. Raj Hayden finally gets the victory. We've all been wondering about when it was going to happen. Tony Elias, you can see, he's just as happy for his teammate as he would be for himself probably at this point. <laughs> Tough place for Raj to come back to after the events that we talked about. He's got the 69 flying underneath his leathers there. Great victory for Roger Hayden today.